Welcome back to Sexified Fallout 4. I'm Rook, and this lovely girl is Nasty. And Nasty has got her trusty companion dog meat with her, and we're going to head out and take care of a ghoul problem here nearby at wi uh, Wicked Shipping. Right. So, first things first, I just want to show you this little outfit. This is a strength shorts. Uh, it's not as you know, risque and stuff as some of the other outfits that we've shown you, but uh, it's very cute. I like it. It's a plus two strength thing, and um, I just, I, I've been making a, a few things. I, I did some buying and selling with Carla just a moment ago, and got a little bit, bit of extra ammo, and fixed up some of our weapons. Uh, nothing major, but uh, just made them slightly better. Uh, so, you know, until we can get the higher end weapons at least the pipe stuff we've got has been slightly improved and so we're gonna go ahead and put back on her normal armor and then head out and take care of these ghouls so let's see here we got this and the glasses all this stuff and her Spartan stuff And that should take care. Also, I made these toothpicks. Uh, they are part of the Spartan set. Um, gives her a, a, one intelligence. Um, I think if I put on the gas mask, it takes the toothpick out of her mouth. <laughs> but <laughs> whatever. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with the gas mask because. Um, well, wait a minute. The glasses give me charisma. That gives me damage and energy. Or uh, radiation resistance so yeah we, since we're going up against the goals we'll go with that despite the fact that it makes her look like this <laughs> but <laughs> that's fine she needs the protection more than she needs to look hot as we fight goals so we're gonna head out now and let's see what weapon we've got yeah good uh, I also planted more corn and stuff so I'm anxious to have that stuff start growing and then we're gonna hit some other settlements and um, and do those up a little bit better but yeah, I don't know where wicked shipping is so we're just gonna, gonna just head over here really surprised I I was kind of heading down the road oh, there's a there's a freaking blood thingy um, and we need to do this and I can figure out buttons. I can do it. There we go. And can we hit? Yeah, see the, the gun, it doesn't do great damage. But, you know, I got a lot of ammo for it. So, oh, all right, we'll try it again. This and that. And so we've got a critical banked. Yeah, I'm not hitting very well with this, am I? And I could, can't fire a wall from the hip either. Come on. Hold still, you little freak. Come on, just hit it. <laughs> Good grief. Man, I'm a terrible shot. Finally. <laughs> oh, goodness. Wow. All right. So, I don't know. I really thought I was a better shot than that in VATS. I mean, not free aiming, but at least in VATS. Hey, come on, let's just loot this stuff. All right. Sheesh. We'll keep going here. Maybe if I was in sneak mode, I'd hit better. I don't know. Yeah, this place is really close. I didn't realize how close it was. What do we have here? Ranger cabin. Yeah, I guess I really should check the places that are really close to our settlement here. Runaway's holotape. It sounds like something I probably should listen to but won't. 
at some point I'll probably listen to a bunch of holiday tapes. I've got I've got several. I've got the one for my husband that I never listened to. And oh look, a wasteland survival. Well, by the way, um, in what Sunshine Tidings, there was a there was a uh, wasteland survival guide there. So let's let's Thank make you. sure we get this nice. Permanently take five percent less damage from melee attacks. Very nice. Right on. So now one thing, I've been picking up these things. Um, and have not, okay, are they under miscellaneous? I have not read them, or, or have I read them? I don't know. I guess when you pick them up, you get the, the thing right away, right? I mean, I don't have to, like, read them again or something. Well, whatever. We've got it now, so. I've also got a couple perks banked. Um, not sure yet what to do with them. I, I kind of really want to find the Charisma bobblehead. Um, but I'm just... Look, if you guys want to put it in the comment section where it is, great. Um, if I find it on my own, great. Um... I just don't feel like looking up any of the stuff, you know. But we're going to just continue on and see if we can find ghouls over here. Am I going to get irradiated? No, these bar barrels look okay. But, yeah, this place, here we go. We are no doubt going to run into lots and lots of ghouls in here. I don't see any enemies yet, but they're probably the type that just lay around looking like they're not going to attack until they do. And they won't show up as enemies until they like that one over there. You see that? You see that thing over there? Okay, where's my other God, I wish I could remember my weapons. Okay. See, that looks like a ghoul. And it is. Yeah, you get him, dog meat. Nice. Ooh, look. I could let that... There's a protector on right there. We can let that thing loose, right? That's the weapon. Oh, and I think I figured out um, how to use Molotov cocktails and stuff. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's alt. I think it's alt. Whatever, we're going to unlock this novice terminal real quick here. All right, is it seed? Likeness two. Okay, so it can't be that. Can't be that. It can't be that. Can't, oh, it could be that. Likeness one, okay. Can't be that. Could be that. Yes. And it is. Alright, protector on control. Alright, this is good. Activate units. Alright, let's choose personality mode. 
Uh, yeah, we want it to be law enforcement. Okay. What, what's going on now? Come on. One more time here. Activate units. Alright. That should do it, right? Powering up. Protectron on duty. Protect and serve. Okay. Good. It is law enforcement. So, that is great. Let's just sneak around here. And see if that thing will take out ghouls for us. Oh, nice. Combination wrench and duct tape. That was good. Wait a minute. Is it the combination wrench that has gears? No, there's some other wrench that has a gear in it. Those are the ones we like. You know, when it dawned on me uh, in a previous video, I had been, you know, talking about Wicked Shipping and there's something about it um, that I think I need a key for it. Maybe this, maybe I'll find a key here. I mean, where else would you find a key for Wicked Shipping than in at Wicked Shipping? Oh, wow. Okay, there's rads there. But I've got my gas mask on. That's helpful. All right, Protectron. Okay, there is a feral ghoul roamer right there. It sees us. We're going to run out here. Yeah, there's the Protectron's getting into it. That poor dog's taking a beating. Wow, that Protectron put it down pretty fast. I'm just curious. I'm going to wait this first one and see how the Protectron does. It's knocked off one arm. All right. We will get into it on this one. That's it? I just needed to kill one ghoul. Oh, poor dog meat. You okay? Alright, well, we saved a stem pack. Although I may have screwed my affinity. Look at this. Military duct tape. That is great. Wow. So we accomplished our goal by killing one freaking ghoul? That doesn't seem right. But surely there's more than one in here. And I do want to find a key if I can, if there is a key in here. But I feel like I'm, you know, tempting fate or something. <laughs> so let's just quick save and see what other trouble we can stir up in this area. God, I just, you know, ghouls freak me out. What? Anyway, this one is from uh, Eastern Davis. It's the, ironically, end of the world. I'm hearing something. Is it a radio or is that people? I can't tell. All right, but we're going to unlock this safe. Can we unlock this safe? All right, let's give it a shot. Yes. Nice. Okay, we got some. That that's that's a good find. Right on. 
And a little bit of ammo. Well, it was a radio that I heard. Right, any ghouls gonna pop out here? Come on. Show yourselves. Oh, nice. More duct tape. And more 10 millimeter right on. Right on, guys. I've been really needing the ammo. And it took me um took me quite a bit of stuff to be able to afford the ammo that Carla had. But I ended up kind of I think I made one cap out of the transaction, which you know, all in all, it's better than spending money, right? So, okay, we'll just get what we can out of here. This is nice. Is there going to be any... Any more enemies? It just seems weird that there would only be... If they can play about a ghoul problem, there's one freaking ghoul. That doesn't seem like a very big problem. You know, and I've got... 12 settlers over there armed and <laughs> defenses up and stuff just didn't seem like that great a threat all right okay I guess we don't have to spend all day here if there isn't uh like an infestation. I'm just curious about what else might be here. I mean, we do need loots. I don't see any more ghouls jumping out, though. At least we're doing this in the daytime and it's outdoors, you know, not in some gloomy place. Yeah, I need to find more things that have circuitry. Because so I've pretty much used up all my circuitry. And um, so I'll need that and gears. So anything I can find with gears, circuitry. And I'm going to need lots of screws. I've got a few still because I haven't really done a lot. But I, as I was looking at weapon upgrades, I didn't really touch any of my better weapons because they have no mods at all and like a hunting rifle I have several hunting rifles but they're all short barrel and like if I wanted to upgrade them properly and make a decent hunting rifle man it would take a whole lot of stuff so I'm hopeful that I'll find something that's already got some mods on it like with the pipe weaponry I found several items with a variety of different mods on them and I've been able to kind of mix and match to put like a glow sight on this one along with uh, you know uh, various different other mods that I had on other things um, so I didn't have to actually spend all the screws and that kind of stuff to make the mods okay, come on. any more I don't see any ghouls well, that's fine by me, frankly. You know, I'm not on an EXP hunt. More than anything, I'm on a stuff hunt. Let me turn off the radio. If I'm not mistaken, there may be some songs that are still have copyrights on them. So we don't, don't want to press any issues. On that on that front I have made that mistake in the past using stuff you know in a video but you know I, I thought it was covered under fair use but uh, apparently not look at this wicked shipping trailer key yes indeed guys 
We got it. Wicked shipping trailer key. And we know yes. they're... Okay, Grobneck the Barbarian. Blood on the harp. Wow, that is a creepy picture. But okay, we'll take that. Um, Tarberry. I think I need those for something too. I can't remember. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, you're playing with your bear. Nice. <laughs> he must just carry that bear around with him. So, what do we got in the filing cabinets? Nice. Yeah, so I don't know if there's one of these containers here that needs the key. Uh, but let's look in the terminal. Cargo manifests. Map updated. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uranium pellets. Uh, destination General Atomics factory. Okay. And then we've got this one. Corvega assembly plant. Fuel cells. All right. I didn't get a map update on that one, so maybe I've already found that one. And another map update, mass fusion containment, waste material. Okay, that probably isn't one that I really want to go for, but uh, this first one, though, looks interesting. It was headed towards General Atomics and had uranium pellets. Maybe we can get nuclear material. That's That would be very nice. We do need... The, what? What? I'm getting rads. Is it a rad storm out? I hate those rad storms. Yeah, it looks like it is. Alright, let's, um... Let's go ahead and sneak on out of here. Whoa. Oh, we've been all through here, right? Yeah. Wow, I'm so happy we got that key, guys. That is very cool. Oh, man. Lightning freaks me out. Everything in this game makes me jump. I just... I don't know. I'm always expecting death around every corner. Like this. No, 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 no. Good grief. Come on. Press the right freaking buttons. And just... No, come on. There. Take it out with the leg shot if you can't shoot anything else, right? Taking rads. See, I knew there'd be more ghouls around here. There had to be, right? You can't have just a ghoul infestation with one freaking ghoul. That's just not... That doesn't really meet the definition of an infestation. Super thoff. Free antifreeze. Nice. Alright, I think that's something good, isn't it? Wicked business. Another holotape. All the stuff. We need all that stuff. Yes, we do. station yeah this is uh, you know this is kind of more of a looting mission than a killing mission at this point isn't it but I tell you you know I am doing so much crafting and stuff off camera in between because I don't you know a little bit of that uh, in the videos I think is is good you know it's all part of the game and you know people want to know that I'm I'm doing stuff I think so um, you know and and I I enjoy it uh, but you know it would get really super tedious and boring if I if I was to 
record all of that stuff, you know, hours and hours of me just bumbling around, you know, scrapping stuff. You know, I did that real extensively in one long video over at Sunshine Tidings, and that one, you know, that's pretty much enough of that as a, you know, one whole video kind of thing, you know. I like to actually go out and do some exploration and, and get something more accomplished than just loots. All right, let's run in here and see real quickly what we've got. Teddy bars, pepper mill, okay. I don't know if these blocks have any value to anything. Probably not. All right, but we didn't take much in the way of rads coming in here, so that's good. We'll just run out real quick. Wow, that's it then, huh? I think that's it. Have I looked at all the places? I think I have. Oh, no, here. Ha! <laughs> ha! I almost left without checking this place. This. Okay, rat right away. That's good. And, oh, look at this. Lots of ammo. Bayoneted, calibrated sniper rifle. This is not... Uh, okay, that's a pipe pistol, but that other sniper rifle, what is that? A calibrated, bayoneted... Come on, look under the right category. Weapons. Bayoneted, calibrated sniper rifle... That uses 308 ammo, so we've got a little bit of that. Let's take a look. This is this is a different sniper rifle too. All right, and this one does 37 damage versus what's that other? The 13 damage. Oh man, and I just put a markman this thing. It's calibrated sniper rifle whatever but you know let's be real that one uses 38 ammo this one uses 308 ammo this is going to do a lot better damage so let's put that on 9 I guess don't need the bayonet on it that's probably not helping my accuracy and like the the sway and all that stuff so I, I think I'm gonna take off the you know who needs a freaking bayonet on their sniper rifle that doesn't make any sense to me at all it's like I would never be using this when I am in melee combat anyway I mean, how do we, I don't even know how to use it as a melee weapon, frankly. There's probably a way, but I don't know. Alright, let's look through here real quick. Oh, we've been on this side. There's probably another way around the other side. Let's check it real quick. Let's switch back to... Yeah, we'll use the, the other weapon. No, not that one. Not that one either. Where did I put that? It's on two, right? That's it. Okay. Oh, there isn't. There's got to be a way into this other side of the building, right? Do I have to climb over stuff or something? How do I get through to the, the other side? Oh, dog meat, you gotta let me move here, buddy. Is that a ghoul that's gonna wake up? I don't know. went up top oh is it 
it just it's like this, right? There we go. We have been all through here. No, we haven't. Okay, well, wasn't a whole lot in there. I guess we have cleared this place pretty well. I don't know. Some somebody's gonna probably say in the comment, "Man, you missed the best loot in there, other than the key," because clearly that key is a great find, and we're gonna use that key to go open up more of these wicked shipping containers but not right now right now we're gonna head back to sanctuary because it's you know we got a rad storm now a regular storm it's just an ugly day we're gonna head home okay we'll get some more of this blood leaf stuff forget what I used that for I was looking at various recipes and stuff in the cooking station and making some stuff and I made up buff jet and and um, what's the other one uh, psycho jet and some regular jet the regular jet is really easy to make but psycho not so much oh, cool shotgun shells right away I'm liking this We're finding all kinds of goodies here, guys. Things we desperately needed. And, uh, yeah. Nice. Oh, good. And the storm's passed. Excellent. Alright, well. I will tell you what. We're going to put away our weapon. And let's let's see her pretty face for a second here. Get rid of that gas mask. And where's where's her oh and that. There, now we can see her a little bit better. Um, so, guys, we we made some good headways. We got that, that freaking key. That is a massive one. And I want to go and find out where the other containers are. And um, I know we've got one over there by Trudy's place. I think I'm going to hit there first. But uh, we need to go back home as well and drop off some garbage. And um, then... There's a settlement that needs to be taken care of. So if we've got lots of things on the agenda. But for now, I just want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please smash the like button. And we will talk with you again very, very soon.